Hello gamers, welcome to the new sponsored Do It Night Abyss video. Before I get started on this guide, you're probably wondering if this game is worth checking out, right? Honestly, I had a blast with this technical test, though the game had some issues with the frame rate and graphics. The game itself was pretty good with flashy skills and particle beams flying everywhere. I ended up testing it all day and all night unlocking all 9 characters and to level it up to the near max level so that I can showcase them in a later video. There was a wide range of playable female characters of all sizes in this test with one playable male character. My favorite character was Sai Sh or Sai? because she could fly around with her ultimate and wreck havoc in disguise. The one feature that did stand out the most for me in Do It Night Abyss was the itemization or the, how you obtain equipment in the game called Demon Wedges. You didn't have to deal with any other RNG when it comes to gearing up your characters in this technical test, such as random main substat or main stat that you have to random re-roll re for or like keep farming the same gear over and over again. So it was really a uh, breath of fresh air, like getting what you wanted right away. Though this might pose a bit of a problem for uh, replayability in the future, right? I will explain about the system in great detail uh, during this video, so stick around if you want to learn more about how, how this kind of gear is obtained. Uh, the movement feels good and you can incorporate some of the gun or sword play in your movement to zoom around the map faster. The music is also extremely soothing and it fits well with the game's theme. Aside from the enjoyable prologue experience, I did end up skipping most of the story since it wasn't voiced at all in this technical test. So, but. I am looking forward to playing it again in the future with uh, actual voiceovers. The prologue was interesting so I do encourage you to check out my prologue video if you have not seen it yet. However, all four of the characters in the game are actually voiced in four different languages which are Japanese, English, Chinese, and Korean. In short, it's a game I would recommend keeping an eye on. Now let's actually get to the guide. Uh, for those that want to learn more about the game systems, about the world, the characters, how to get your gear, what kind of um, dungeons is in store, or boss fights and stuff like that, or combo system, how to actually play the game and stuff like that, stick around and I hope you enjoyed the tutorial. So the weapon system in this game, every character can use different weapons and guns depending on the their class specifications. So right now we have a sword, right? And our other weapon is a rifle. But if we press C Very well. and we go I'll to the melee, we can swap now. her weapon to a spear. And then we can swap her range weapon to a grenade launcher. And then now we could use both new weapons anytime we want. To obtain some of these weapons, you can obtain some of them from either achievements or crafting. For example, we're crafting a scythe right now. We could speed up the forging, it takes two hours, but you know, let's just speed it up, claim our new weapon. And then we press C again. Very well. We swap I'll to our weapon. They also have things. If you look here in the right side of the screen, every character has a different special proficiency, right? Can I join Leviathan you on your cannon? Scythe, so Thank she's you, good with scythe. So let's time to leave. let's equip our new scythe character on this <laughs> small small person. So here's the scythe animation. It's pretty cool, right? And then I guess we'll use her pig skill because it's cute. Feast till forever. Now she can ride a pig mount. <laughs> All right, so for the next part of the video. I mean, for the next part, we're going to do uh, combat and controls. So, for the combat, it's left click to attack, and then right click to shoot. You automatically aim down sight, so this is the pretty much the basic combat. But if you're worried that you're not very good at like, mm, let's say, let's say you're, you're not very good at shooting with the gun, well, there's an option in the settings over here. Wakey, wakey. There's an option in the settings where you can actually turn on aim assist. So this will lock onto your enemies and you won't have any problem targeting things. So this game does have a combo system where you can see the combo gauge go up. Once you get that combo gauge up, if you do a heavy attack, which is holding your left click, you will unleash big damage. 
The boss can also get stunned, so when they get stunned and down like this, you can press F to perform a finishing move on them. But you could you could save the finishing move until the th bar on the top is almost done. And that's when you execute. Alright, so now let's go over movement. So if you want to move around this game, it's control to slide, spacebar to jump, and shift to dodge attacks. So you have to do control and spacebar a lot if you want to do the helix dash. It's it's faster than way faster than jogging. There's no sprinting in this game. You actually have to spam um this kind of movement. And there's different kinds of movement. There's like double space bar. And then you look all the way up, jump, and then do a deep dive like that. So every every time you look up, you go higher. So let's say you wanna let's say I wanna get on top of this building. I hold control and then boom. There we go. Yo, why are kids up here? But anyway, um, also, so control shift. You can also do it while you're sliding, um, the looking up thing. You just have to control, look all the way up, and boom, we're super high, right? <laughs> and then like, let's say I want to like, I want to jump across over there, right? So, control, look up, spacebar up, boom, left yeah. click. And then if there's stuff that you can't make, it's like, oh, you just shoot. You could like, you could do a uh, movement with uh, just shooting, gliding movement, and then you go back down. There's also a uh, wall running like this, or side running, if you need to get the places. And wall jump, and then crouch jump. That's a low crouch jump because I wasn't aiming up, right? But if I aim my camera up, we go all the way up, straight up. Same thing with, like I said, uh, the thing. You pretty much uh, get to places where you normally can't this way. While Do It Night Abyss has open maps that you can fully explore, the game mostly focuses on commissions and boss fights. Commissions are like small dungeons that you can challenge. So here's like the current world map, right? You can see that you can teleport nodes area, you can fight some field bosses here and there. I wouldn't call the game open world yet, or if they plan to change the direction, but as I have said, the game is mostly uh, mission based entering dungeons and boss fights so in this game if i press c I join you on your journey? we have there uh different are. kinds of items per I'll character for now. so for example for the they're called come. demon wedges right these demon wedges go on your character so like this one has attack up there's no set bonuses for this so this is really good right and you have sets to not sets but like you could save your loadout which is nice for example, um, Hydro attack. She's Hydro, so I want to equip Hydro. But if I, it costs 13 now, right? So, but if I have this item right here, I click adjust track, and then I match this icon with the Y icon here. Boom. Now instead of 13 costs, if we drag it to that slot, it only costs seven, which makes us have more slots to equip everything. Um, so you just add to, like mix and match gear like you say you want more attack equip a bunch of attack stuff you can't have two of the same you can't have two of the same one so uh let's see is there two of the same here probably for my guns same thing with melee so there's there, there's different um demon sigils or wedges for weapons and weapons and characters they're all different so for like this weapon i only have like 20 cost right because it's a low level weapon but if i level up the scythe that we just crafted and then ascend it. Now we have um, 50 more slots cost, which means we could attach more um, items to it. So we can get a combo thing, slashing attack. Oh, we already have slashing attack. So <laughs> actually this is a lower slashing attack. This one's higher, so boom. So that's uh, about it for itemization. And so certain characters have special weapons on their slot, for example, um, Alpedes has a consonance weapon, which we can also equip a uh, demon, a demon, demon wedges or sigils. Because uh, right now it looks like I have two weapons, right? I have my left click weapon, I have my right click weapon. But if I press her ultimate, which is Q, she has her demon sword, which throws demon slashes around the world. So. You also need to equip demon wedges for the sword 
And it only works with some、Let's、characters because some characters doesn't have、But、it, some has it. Same with、uh, this one. Psyche. Psyche. She has, a, she has a, a special weapon. And her Q is actually butterfly mode.、Okay. The There. And now I can fly and shoot. And then、I'm、I、sorry. could unleash a whole bunch of、uh, beams like that. And then. <laughs> so. Pretty cool, pretty cool system, right? You don't、And、need don't to worry about getting sets. You don't need to worry about getting all kinds of like bad rolls on things. You just go into either the, the demon wedges for characters dungeon or you go into the weapon dungeon. And then if you all do it here, you can either get like these skill damage ones, skill range, and you just equip whichever, you know. Build you're going for. You want to buff up your melee attack, you、journey. want to buff up your combo, you want to buff up your skills. You equip all the demon wedges for that character. There's auto equip, but it usually equips like weird ones if you do auto equip. So we might want to skip on that. There currently is no gotcha in this technical test because it is a test, but in the future, I believe there might change the system. So for now, we can collect characters from the achievement section shown here. You can see that you can get characters from logging in, second day login. You can get characters from、um, completing certain missions, commissions, and story stuff, reaching higher level world levels. So that's how you currently obtain some characters and legendary weapons, other than crafting、um, weapons. Sometimes you'll get a recipe, like this one, you get a scythe recipe where we just crafted that earlier in the video. And then. Oh, yeah, there's also uh, what do you call it?、Today? Character dupes, these things. But you can obtain all of these also from the achievements. The more you play that character, you can unlock the more you can unlock、uh, their dupe, which is really strong. I if you ever end up playing, I suggest playing Fuchsia. She's one of the best healers and she can regen your sanity or mana. Oh, right, summoning characters. So. In this game, you can summon characters in your party to help you. You can summon a total of two characters. So now we summon two characters. And they'll help you fight like bosses and stuff, or if you're out exploring in the open areas, or if, or if some of these commission dungeons get a little bit challenging and you need like a full party, you can do that. There's also、uh, multiplayer matching, but that's, that's currently not available yet. So, to, to actually use this, you can get, once you obtain the character from your achievements, you can,、um, Who's the target today? You, can, you can summon them. Like for this girl, she summons like. She summons、together. lots of tentacles and they all attack. So, that's her type of character. She summons like 10 tentacles. Going on an adventure today? And then we have the jellyfish girl here and all that stuff. She also has. They give, the they, give you her, they give you her free limited weapon, so. This one. If you ever get her. Actually, you will get her. She's actually another strong character that you, you can build early on.、Um, anyway,、uh, yeah, anyway, I was teaching i s a r i how to summon. So, Are you inviting me on a date? To summon characters, you need to equip a weapon on them, right? So, they'll all go down here. And then let's say I want to use.、Um, I want to summon Hilda. We need to give Hilda a weapon, so we'll give Hilda a scythe. We'll drag it to her hotbar. And then I want to summon Lin, so I'll give Lin a weapon. And then drag Lin here. And then while you're out in the field anywhere, press and hold T and drag your cursor down here. There we go. Now we got two people in our party. That's how you summon stuff. And once again, to get the stuff to summon characters, they are from achievement. So, like for example, when you unlock Lin, you will get her sigil. And then when you unlock Truffle, you will get her、um, sigil to summon her. You also have a dorm system where you can like move characters like around. When I do nothing but watch and you can just chill in your dorm. This is actually your dorm right here. This whole area is your dorm. Uh, where you can craft stuff, buy certain items from the shop over here. You buy cosmetics. And speaking of cosmetics,、uh, let's preview、Smile、some cosmetics.、That. So we go to the dressing room. You like, equip random cosmetics on your characters. 
Some of them are super cute, like this one. You can even have like eye patch, the blindfold, and all that stuff. It's different per character. But some of the cosmetics are shared, like the sword. Let me provide medicine for the battles. Like to that come. sword is shared. Let's see. So once you unlock it, you can unlock it for all your characters. You could probably give her the blindfold too. Yeah. See if you can give her a blindfold if you wanted to. Alright, so what's the end game goal in this technical test? Well the end game goal is press L. You go to your commissions tab, and other than leveling up your characters and making them stronger, you want to get them strong enough to at least challenge these endgame bosses. And then these endgame bosses will drop legendary blueprints that you can craft for your characters, which is fun, right? Um, they are quite challenging and they will one-shot you depending on your level. They did one-shot me as a level 40 when I fought the level 50 versions, and they will have a video of me defeating them as level 40 for fun. And make sure you guys check it out sometime. Nice. And then lastly, we have the profile. So every character in the game is actually voiced in CN, English, JP, and KR. So that's pretty cool, right? So let's sample some of that. A blend of ash, melting snow, and the salty sea breeze. Nice. So you can pretty much uh it's my honor. All the all the characters are voiced, right? So you could either play the game in any voice language you'd like, whichever you prefer. If you want to play in Chinese, you can play in Chinese. If you want to play in Japanese, you can play in Japanese. If you want to play in Korean, you can play in Korean. Oh, that's pretty good, right? Bilbert! Wakey, wakey! It's time to leave! <laughs> And then we have like, you know. Hello, it's me, the commissary Truffle, with my faithful followers. <laughs> oh, they sound so. Both Chinese and Japanese sound so good. What about Korean? I think they all nailed the character. Oh, the English one. Hello, it's me, the commissary. Yeah, I think they all sound good, actually. With my faithful followers by my side. <laughs> so, that should be it for um today's sponsored video. I know the video kind of dragged on, but that's why I'm going to be adding timestamps. I hope you guys like the video and uh, make sure you like and subscribe. And once again, check out Do It Night of Abyss technical test coming soon. And I hope you guys have a nice, wonderful day. This is your brother, Stepper Bro, out.